Bipolar disorder is a complex mental health condition characterized by extreme shifts in mood and energy levels. It is classified into various subtypes, with bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 being two of the most recognized ones. While they share similarities, they also exhibit distinct features that set them apart. In this video, we'll delve into the differences and similarities between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2, shedding light on their unique aspects and helping us understand whether one is worse than the other. The primary difference between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 lies in the severity of manic and hypomanic episodes. Bipolar 1 is characterized by full-blown manic episodes, which are intense and often disruptive periods of elevated mood, energy, and impulsivity. On the other hand, bipolar 2 involves hypomanic episodes, which are less severe than full mania, by elevated mood and energy but with milder disruptions in daily functioning. Duration of episodes. In bipolar 1, manic episodes can last for at least 7 days or require hospitalization due to their severity. Hypomanic episodes in bipolar 2 last for a minimum of 4 days. Additionally, depressive episodes in both subtypes tend to last for at least 2 weeks. Depressive episodes. Both bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 share similarities in their depressive episodes. These periods are characterized by feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and low energy. However, the presence of depressive episodes in bipolar disorder underlines the necessity of effective treatment for mood stabilization. Risk of psychosis Bipolar 1 is more strongly associated with psychosis than bipolar 2. Psychosis involves losing touch with reality, experiencing delusions or hallucinations. While psychosis can occur during severe manic episodes in bipolar 1, it's less common in bipolar 2's hypomanic states. Impact on daily life Bipolar 1 often has a more profound impact on daily life due to the severity of its manic episodes. The extreme impulsivity, grandiosity, and risky behaviors during full-blown mania can lead to disruptions in relationships, work, and personal well-being. In contrast, the impact of hypomanic episodes in bipolar 2 is generally less severe. Treatment approaches Treatment strategies for both subtypes typically involve mood stabilizers, psychotherapy, and lifestyle modifications. Bipolar type 1 may require more intensive intervention due to the severity of manic episodes. Bipolar 2 might respond well to psychotherapy and mood stabilizers, but the focus is often on managing depressive episodes and preventing the progression to full mania. Is one worse than the other? Determining whether bipolar 1 is worse than bipolar 2 is not straightforward, as both subtypes present unique challenges. Bipolar 1's manic episodes can lead to more extreme disruptions and risky behaviors, potentially necessitating immediate medical attention. Attention. However, bipolar 2's recurrent depressive episodes can also significantly impact one's quality of life and hypomanic episodes can cause functional impairments as well. Rather than classifying one as worse than the other, it's essential to recognize that both subtypes can be debilitating and require appropriate management to ensure the individual's well-being. Bipolar disorder is a complex mental health condition with varying manifestations. While bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 share similarities, such as depressive episodes, they differ in terms of severity and impact on daily life. The distinction between full-blown manic episodes and hypomanic states is pivotal in understanding the divergent challenges each subtype presents. Ultimately, neither subtype is inherently worse than the other. Both require personalized treatment approaches to support individuals in managing their symptoms and improving their overall quality of life. Thank you for watching. Visit my YouTube playlist and my website for more educational content.